All right, folks, thanks for checking out the video. I want to talk today about Fox News going after Tucker Carlson for an alleged breach of contract for uploading videos to Twitter. So from Newsmax here, it says, uh, Fox, Carlson breached contract with Twitter show. Fox News said former host Tucker Carlson breached his contract Tuesday when he released the first episode of his new show on Twitter, reported Axios. This evening, we were made aware of Mr. Tucker Carlson's appearance on Twitter in a video that lasted over 10 minutes, Fox News General Counsel Bernard Guger said in a letter to Carlson's lawyers. Pursuant to the terms of the agreement, Mr. Carlson's, quote, services shall be completely exclusive to Fox, it continued, quoting Carlson's contract. Guger also said Carlson was prohibited from rendering services of any type whatsoever, whether over the internet via streaming or similar distribution or other digital distribution, whether now known or hereafter devised. Carlson's legal team told Axios that any legal action by Fox would violate his First Amendment rights. Fox defends its very existence on freedom of speech grounds. Now they want to take Tucker Carlson's right to speak freely away from him because he took the social media to share his thoughts on current events to Carlson's lawyer, Brian Friedman. Carlson's new show, Tucker on Twitter, garnered about 80 million views by 2 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, you can see here, uh, this was Tucker's uh, show here. You can see it on, on his Twitter if, if you want to watch uh, that. It's very good. Uh, the former Fox News host, in a roughly 10-minute video posted Tuesday and captioned episode one, claimed that Ukraine was to blame for the destruction of a massive dam in Russian-occupied territory that caused widespread flooding. The one-time top-rated talk show host on U.S. cable television said he hoped Twitter would be the shortwave radio under the blankets with no gatekeepers. So, very interesting here. Clearly, the, the decision by Fox to part ways with Tucker Carlson, I think, was mostly done to silence him through the 2024 election. That's the long and the short of it. Now, he can't upload videos to Twitter. Now, as far as I know, as far as he said, Tucker himself and Elon Musk, there is no deal that Tucker has with, with Elon. It's not like he's being paid by Twitter. He doesn't have a contract with them. He's independently posting content to Twitter. So what's the difference if he's, I don't know, tweeting words or if he's uploading a video? Is that actually rendering services when he's just doing it on his own on his own accord? I don't think so. Now maybe this particular agreement would possibly prevent him from, I don't know, joining Newsmax or some other rival to Fox News, at least for a period of time. But I can't imagine it would prevent him from giving interviews or, or uploading his own content as he sees fit. So seems like a petty move by, by Fox. I mean, uh, this whole thing could, could drag out and, and maybe they're just doing it to, I don't know, try to hurt Tucker, try to run up his legal bills. I mean, he's a really rich guy. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he'll he'll be fine, but I'm sure it's something he'd, he'd rather not deal with uh, if he didn't have to. So let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.